good. Okay, so during this whole time, now mind you, when the whole time that I was in New York, I was never watching YouTube and I was never a guy that went to the sheets and all this shit. But right. during this whole time, New Jack, rest his soul, was cutting these promo. I found out about this later when I discovered YouTube. <laughs> this whole time, you guys, you and Bubba were, were killing it in New York. New Jack was cutting these, I have to say, awesome fucking promos now that I go back and watch it. But he was shooting on you guys. Was there legitimate heat between you guys for years? Yeah, yeah, it all had to do with me and a certain female. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was a female that he used to date. Okay. And, you know, Jack, you know, didn't treat this person very nicely. And I remember I actually liked her. Right. And, you know, Jack had a reputation of being with a lot of women. Okay. So when this was like a year or two after, you know, him and her broke up and, you know, he's bad mouthing and everything. And I said, all right, well, I'm going to swoop right in. <laughs> and, I, and I, and I did. And we started dating and then he started cutting these hellacious promos on me, you know, right. fuck Devon, you know, he, he, he's, you know, he's tasting me now, you know, how's it taste Devon? And I just went, all right. I'll... And then I, I guess I could just, I pulled the trigger when I said something like, um, Remember that girl you thought I was doing? It really wasn't her. It was the other girl that you had that you told me to keep company. That's the one I was fucking. And what happened was I said that to a mark. We were down, we were at a carousel at an airport waiting for our bags. And the guy told me, New Jack just cut this promo on you and blah, blah, blah. You want to hear it? I said, yeah, sure. So I heard it. And that's when I cut that promo on him. I said, you give this to New Jack. Wow. You tell him I was fucking her. And wasn't the person who you thought was with her. And that set it off. That set it off. That set it off. And next thing you know, he started berating me and going off on me. So it all started with a girl. And, okay. uh, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, we did the song We Had Enough for okay. WWE. And he was saying some shit about me that I was like, okay, you want to cut promos? All right. So when um what was the guy that did um wwe's music jim johnston jim johnson when he called me and bubba in to do the song we had enough i said oh cool you know the rap song like a run dmc version me to arrow smith type of, i was like all right cool and so i asked him i said you mind if i cut a promo in there and he was like what do you mean a promo is it a rap i was like yeah i can do a rap so new jack loved tupac Right. And I like Biggie. So I okay. took a line from Tupac when I said, all these other wrestlers want to be like me. Uh, what I said, all these other wrestlers want to be like me. Now, now you're looking like New Jack Flabby and Sick trying to play a hate on my shit. We had enough. And he heard that and went off. <laughs> <laughs> he went off. And he got with the, with the guy Bootsy Collins because he was good friends with Bootsy Collins. And uh, they went in the studio and they did a version uh, coming back at me and it never really got over, oh. but, um, cause you know, again, WWE had the form to push. We had enough out there. Right. And, you know, at that time, Bootsy was huge, you know, but he, it, it didn't go anywhere. So not everybody heard new Jack song. And then from there, it, it was just escalating big one after the other. Right. One, one thing, other, and you have to give him credit. That guy could talk. God, oh, he made you he made you believe everything he said. Well, he made there, you believe uh, it. And the great thing and the great thing about it is, and I have to say this, that you know, Jack and I had buried it, buried the beef, and we hugged each other and yeah. we did all of that. And um we we were talking on the phone quite regular. Oh, and uh, you know, and then I remember the last time I saw Jack was at an independent show. And because uh, we had talked after this, but the last time I physically saw him was at an independent show and Bubba politicked us to go on first. <laughs> so we would have to stay for the whole show. And uh, we went on first and then New Jack, I think, was last. And um, I looked at him, I said, Jack, I'm cutting out of here. And he was like, all right, Devon. He's like, you take care of yourself. I was like, hey, man, I love you, man. And I hugged him and I was like, I was like let's talk soon. And right. he was like, you got it. And that was it. That was the last time I physically saw him. But so when I heard he passed, I was very happy to say that the last words I uttered to him in person was that I love you, bro. Right. 
And, you know, that was it. And then I remember us talking on the phone and I said the same thing to him. You know, I said, I love you, man. I was like, I'll talk to you later. Because we would just call each other out of the blue, you know, after all of that beef went on. Yeah. And we were laughing. We were basically laughing. We were just like, all these fans, all these marks are biting into what we're doing. Could you imagine if I was really in a company that you were in and we were going at each other like that? The fans would eat that shit up. And that was the one thing we had said to each other after we made up. We were like, we should have been, I we should have been in the same company together. Because yeah. that would have made a lot of money because these marks would have thought that we were really shooting yeah. on each other at that point. And at that point, verbally we were, but physically we weren't. Wow. Fuck.